folks, we are going to get a reading in. Um, I'm going to pull, if you are single, what is your current blockage um, for achieving what it is that you're trying to receive or that you want to receive? What's my collective's current? too hard. You believe that it has to be hard, but it doesn't. Let love flow naturally in your life. Walking away. You leave too quickly when things get challenging. Stay and try to work it out. Losing yourself. You feel lost in your partner. It's okay to be yourself and have your own life too. Okay, so this I think is someone has a blockage because they they believe that whenever they enter a relationship they have to become their partner they have to become the perfect person for their partner and that's not the truth you just have to be yourself you just have to bring who you are in this collective if this is what you feel um then it would make any relationship too hard and you feeling like a relationship has to be so hard is actually causing you to fear like losing yourself like fear the actual relationship itself and that's what's pushing it away because remember hate is not the opposite of love fear is um hate is just love that's been extremely hurt but fear is literally, you know, the complete opposite of it. Tell me why they believe it's too hard. Sculpture of self. Look, still, it's like you feel like you have to become something that you're not. Shape of the sculpture of self. Honoring the perpe perpetual act of forming and expressing identity. Cutting edge. Slices, obstacles, obstacles, and carve a path towards your dreams. Wise counsel, seek guidance from trusted friends and mentors that will help you along the way. Duality dance. Seek balance amidst the chaos and find harmony within yourself. Okay, so the reason why you feel like it's too hard is because you have not achieved a balance. Um... You've not achieved a balance. This is someone saying, you know, you need to talk to somebody or, you know, I mean, I guess come here to and listen to someone tell you what it is that's going on. Like, you don't have to lose yourself. You don't have to agree 100% with what someone else says. You, you don't have to compromise until you aren't you anymore compromise does not take away who you are it's supposed to be a meeting in the middle of two minds it's supposed to be two people coming together with the same intentions in the long run um to have something work out in the long run but But when you are so afraid to be alone that you instantly give yourself away, it's it's going to cause a blockage in love because spirit's going to know you're not your true authentic self. And if someone is, someone else is coming in their true authentic form and you're not, um, then it's going to push it away because you're not going to be aligned, even though it, it appears like you are aligned on paper or on the outside or as you would say on your your sun sign you know like i'm a virgo sun so what i portray to the outside world is that i'm a virgo but if you look at my venus sign how i love that's a libra you know but the virgo part of it the sun's part of it is just what we show the outside world what who who we are but it's just the surface level it's the superficial and that's what somebody's doing is they are coming into relationships in the superficial form because they're not actually being their true authentic self. They're not coming into a relationship saying, I'm good enough. 
that I deserve to be heard. I deserve to be validated, you know, and this could go all the way back for somebody to, you know, previous trauma that needs to be healed, um, or even childhood trauma, whether it's a relationship or child in childhood where you were never heard like your opinion never mattered um and so you had to it was kind of like you were there to be seen and not heard you were there to do the will and the wishes of the adult instead of the opposite way around um and if it was a relationship you were there to serve your partner you were never there to be loved you were never there to be heard or validated. Someone does not want me to say this. Hold on, I gotta get a drink. Man, that is strong. That is not my drink. <laughs> the almost taking my breath away. Um, Spirit saying you are good enough. They want you to stay, but they want you to stay with the intentions of not losing yourself with the intentions of being who you were made to be spirit didn't make you the spirit of truth god did not make you imperfect he made you in his image and here's the thing you can't on a surface level pretend to be something that you're not and attract the person that you're meant for because you'll meet the person that you're meant for, the one that you actually are aligned with, and you'll push them away because you're pretending to be something that you're not, or vice versa. Um, let me see here. What is it they need to know, Spirit? Inner strength. Look at this. <laughs> Don't lose yourself in things you can't change. Focus on the things you can change. Attitude, mindsets, and energy. You've got everything that you need. Spirit's just reconfirming here. You are good enough. Authenticity attracts. You can't make it up, guys. You cannot make it up. Being authentic attracts the right people and repels the wrong ones. When you stay true, you naturally filter out those who don't align with your path. Listen, we are all a vibration. Like, the whole universe is a vibration. And with the law of attraction, like attracts like. You can't be on a frequency that's really strong and attract something that's really low because you will throw each other off. Your true person is going to vibe at a frequency that will match yours, okay? If you're coming in in a frequency and pretending to be half of what you are, it's not going to work. You need to vibe at your true authentic level, at your true authentic self, okay? Spark of life. Don't seek into hopelessness and despair. For in your life, for in your lives, a spark of life that is undefeated and unbeatable. You can overcome everything. Your everything. Your destiny depends on it. This is somebody. This is somebody who. I don't know if somebody has just went through a time of sadness. Maybe they are going through a time of depression because they feel like relationships are too hard. They want to give up. No pressure, okay? When you want more, don't push yourself or others to get more. Give more of your pure, genuine self and life will immediately and effortlessly match it. Okay, so this is saying be who you are. Like, realize that who you are and what you are is good enough. Um, but the only person who can change that part of, you know, your world is you, collective. 
All right, um, that's what I have for you. I hope this helped. If you liked this video, please hit like, subscribe down below. That way you'll get um, notified of the next videos. Until then, as always, stay weird.